July the 27th, 2021. Guys, quick update on this ex- uh, solar explosion that we had this morning. It was a filament release, and it is Earth-facing. Now, the ETA, or the estimated time of arrival for our planet, which is in the yellow dot, guys, to the right of the sun, is on the 30th at 0 hundred hours. That's going to be about 7 p.m. on the 29th Eastern Time. Now, there's a plus or minus 7 hours uh, on this window because they're not certain of the speed at this time. But again, on the 30th, 0 hundred hours, that's about 7 p.m. Eastern on the 29th. So, uh, and remember, again, we've got a window of opportunity of plus or minus 7 hours on this. It's the first Earth-facing um, explosion that we've had in a few weeks and we've been watching these on the backside. And I said in a video last night, we were talking about would we see the activity increase or decrease as the sun turned away or these active spots of the sun turned away from Venus and Mercury. But we are seeing some activity. It was not a sunspot. It's a disturbed activity. But watch this filament right there, guys. Those things can be tough on a tectonic plate. I saw two like this uh, near the end of Solar Cycle 24, the last one, and they did affect the Ring of Fire. For some reason, they both uh, affected the Northern Ring of Fire up around Alaska. I'm not sh- saying that's what's going to happen now, but uh, we'll have to watch for those impacts. Again, we don't. I don't have a lot of information. If the other CME tracker will pick it up, it will give us an idea of the solar wind speed, and uh, think plasma density things like that but i just want to let you know in the next few days if you're starting to feel kind of strange dizzy or all the symptoms that uh, you have during these events this is why plus we're going to keep a kind of uh earthquake watch out for that time of arrival and leading up to it and just after it um, so as soon as I get more updates, we get some more camera information, some more uh, wind speed information. I'll update it. But we definitely have an incoming solar explosion, guys. It's a heads up. Be safe.